next to task 6 which is the final task in this module so in this task uh, we will install a web server role on the instances of virtual machine scale set we deployed in the previous task using custom script virtual machine extension so log into the azure portal and go to the storage accounts and the storage account that we created in the previous task and click on container create a container enter the container name scripts public access level private and click on create and open the script blog and uh, going to upload the ps1 file to install the web server select the install ias click upload Next, in the Azure portal, search for virtual machine scale set and open the scale set name and under setting, click on extensions, click add, select custom script extension and click on create. From the install extension blade, select the storage account and with the triple file and script folder, select the PS1 file, click OK and wait for this deployment to be complete. okay so the deployment is completed next under setting click instances and select the two check boxes and click upgrade upgrade virtual machine instances yes Let's wait for the deployment to complete. Upgrading virtual machine instance in progress. Okay, and the deployment is complete. Next, search for load balancer. And open the LB that we have created. and uh, note down the public IP of this load balancer. Let's enter it in the new tab. Okay, so we get the page from one of the scale set virtual machine instances. Okay, let's close it. So task six has been completed. Oh, my bad. So there is one more task. Task seven, scale compute and storage for virtual machine scale set. So we have seen a scale set compute and storage for virtual machine. So this scale, this is for a virtual machine scale set. Previously, we have seen for virtual machine and this is for virtual machine scale set. Okay, go back to the Azure portal and search for virtual machine scale set. Open the virtual machine scale set. I 
under setting section click on size to change the size of the virtual machine scale set instance and let's change it to ds1 v2 size and click on resize and click on instances under setting section and select both the instance and click upgrade click on yes so the deployment is complete now let's open the first instance in the virtual machine scale site and uh, see the location it is in east us zone 2 let's check the second instance and it is in east us zone 1 and go back to the ss0 under settings click on scaling select custom auto scale okay auto scale setting name resource crew and scale mode scale based on metric rules so add a rule metric source leave it to default and time aggregation average metric namespace virtual machine host and the metric name network in total and the operator greater than metric threshold to trigger scale action change it to 10 duration one minute time grind minutes time grind statistics average operation increase count by one revert back to the cooldown minutes five minutes and instance count one click add instance limit minimum one and maximum three instance limit default one and click on save okay so the deployment is complete next open the cloud shell and run the following command to identify the public ip of the load balancer which is in front of the azure virtual machine scale set ss0 Zero eight RG 
slash IP. PIP equal H A C public IP address. Resource group name. RG name. Dash name. Next, run the following command to generate infinite loop that's in the HTTP request to the website that we have hosted on the Azure Virtual Machine Scale site. Okay, I'm logging into the Azure portal in a separate tab and go to the virtual machine scale set. And go to the SO0 and look for the instances. So now we see there is one more instance deployed automatically which is the last one open that and let's check the location of that and it is deployed in the zone 3 now let's stop it and close the cloud shell So back to the virtual machine scale set under settings click on disk create and attach a new disk LAN 0 storage type standard I'm going to select the standard HDD and the size 32 gig and save the changes let's go to the instances okay let's wait for this to complete okay this is completed click on the instances Click all three instances and click on upgrade. Yes. Okay, so the disk we attached in the previous step is a raw disk. So before we can use it, uh, we need to create a partition and create a file system. And then only we can mount it. So for that, uh, we'll be using the custom script extension so first uh, let's uninstall the existing custom script extension go to the extensions click the custom script extension and click on uninstall so wait for this to complete okay next open the cloud shell make sure bash selected and i'm going to upload uh, a ps1 file from which i have uh, downloaded from the github click upload Select VMSS disk, which is the PowerShell script. Click OK. 
so this has been uploaded to the home directory now run the following command set location path home get content path So using this script, we have installed a custom script extension that we previously did using the portal. And run the following command to configure it. Okay, so we have configured the disk as well in the virtual machine scale set instance. So once we made the changes, then we have to come back here and upgrade the instances. So that's all in this module. We have completed all the seven modules in the module eight. Make sure you remove any unused um, resource, otherwise you will end up seeing unexpected cast.